What's up guys, this is Pizza Squirrel and in today's video <coughs> I'm with Greenville's only hydrogen car. Western Motors first fully hydrogen car. The Western Leviton. Leviton. <coughs> so this is Greenwell's today I'm gonna be reviewing the Western Leviton or Levitin whatever it's called I'll call it Levitin <coughs> sorry for the cough I'm gonna have some cough right now but let's ignore that and let's get straight into the video basically as Greenwell had started fictionalizing more cars Greenwell dev called Bluezilla had decided to make a hydrogen car of his brand since he owns Western Motors. Well, as this car got released, there wasn't many people into it since they call, many people call it ugly. It doesn't look good. But I mean, yes, it's very boxy. There's no design or anything to it. But, I don't think it's bad. As Greenwell's only hydrogen car. <coughs> I mean, sure, there's only one station. And it's at, um, <coughs> next stop. There's only one station. But, I mean, it's not so bad, as many people call it. It's very high tech. It is very comfortable and has plenty of features to like. First, we're gonna get into the design of the Western Motors Leviton. With the design of this car, it's a little boxy. And this is the particular high drive variant, which which is a high, almost high spec trim. It is the mid-tier trim. This is high drive offers the most boast, uh, most range, offering uh, amazing 435 miles on a single charge. As you can see, it says H. This trim it's called H1 H1 MS high drive fuel cell hydroelectric. As you can see with the rear of the Western Leviton, it looks really nice. The design looks good. The lights curve down. The lights have always been curvy on all Western motor vehicles. With this one, you can see the high drive trim says high drive almost everywhere. Let's see how many high drive logos there are. There's one high drive logo on the pillar. One more high drive logo. What's this? Levy then. There's a special decal here on the side of the car. There's another high drive logo there. There are, I think, four or three high drive logos. So this car doesn't look too bad. It has that, um, it has that normal Western Motors light theme, really curvy and zaggy. I've always loved that about Western Motors cars. So yeah, they they look very nice. And yeah, and the lights, as you can see, looks like the fog lights and the real lights are intercepted here. And the DRLs are huge. The mir this car also offers folding mirrors, as well as a a AEB system, which uh, has half autopilot. Not really, but it gets the job done. This car has an outstanding five-star safety in AEB. All right, now we will get into the features of the Western Leviton, which you can go on your app of your vehicle right here. There's the unlock button, and here how the the car sounds. Let me just turn up the volume. This is the Roblox sound effect volume to higher. All right, this is how the Leviton sounds when I unlock it. This is how it sounds when I lock it. So it's pretty basic. 
Here, there's a button called Start, Stop, Hold. This will basically start the car up, and I can show you guys. The mirrors will pull down, and the car will turn on. Watch. Yes. So, as you can see, the vehicle has turned on. And, as you can see, as the vehicle has been turned on, the lights come on, the vehicle turns on, and, yeah, that's a nice thing. Looks like the Western Motors logo is glowing, but it's not really glowing. And as you can see, the headlights are on, the DRLs look very nice. And, yeah. The headlights look good and stuff. The, as you can see, it turns on very nicely. And if you go here again, click on the same start stop. We'll do its lock sound. <coughs> It'll turn off. And the mirror's fold back out. But let's turn it back on. As we hop into the Western Leviton, you get a big, nice display here with the dynamic gauges, which display the nav screen, the time compass, and the vehicle radar, and its hydrogen, everything. As you now get into the road test, let me just lower it. All right. As we are driving the Western Leviton, the car has good acceleration, which is decent, but it's not as quick as some other electric cars, like a Tesla or something like that, but it is pretty quick. It's not slow either, but I just think it could be better for $54,000, but it's decent. It is more quicker once you get to like 30 or 40 miles per hour and then you floor it. Car has a nice idle sound to it. For normal, dri normal driving, the Western Leviton is a very nice car and it gets the city job done and its turn signals look very, very beautiful. performance driving the Western Leviton. As you can see, the vehicle is very nicely quick and it gets up to speed and the car is responsive. Though, the brakes feel not that well. The brakes could be improved. <coughs> Although they are decent for an electric car, the brakes are no way sporty. And that's something Western Motors could improve on their on their Leviton. The brakes, you really need to step on it to slow down. It's not going to do it for you. You really have to step on the brake for it to slow down. It's not, it's not good at slowing down, I'll be honest on that. Something that they could improve. The brakes are not that good. Ignore them, guys. Just let me say void real quick. Just ignore that. And let's get back into the video. Yes, so we used void, so there's no damages now. We all love the word void, don't we? Alright, let's get back into the video. And yeah, the brakes could be improved because you really need to step on it. Thing is, this car just—it's just not something you like. I don't know. The brakes just feel so grabby and touchy. They're not—I don't—I don't like them, not that much. But you can live with it. Next thing, hydrogen fuel. Can you live with that? With the high drive trim, 
Mileage is very well. Your hydrogen fueling is completely free. And yes, this requires a zero emissions pass. Let's pull a drift in this thing. Alright, here we come to an end of a review. Real quick, high beams. This car features high beams, almost like every car. Um, this, the high beams are very bright, it has fog lights, it has all the features you want <coughs> um, to have. It has everything you want a car to have. Now is the question, the pros and cons of buying one of these. We'll first start with the cons of this car. The Western Leviton is a very nice car, but it comes with a few cons. If you don't choose the high drive trim, then mileage is not the best. And with only having one hydrogen fuel station in all of Greenville, which is a pretty big map. If you're someone who's gonna grind a lot and drive places, you're only gonna have one fuel station and you go for more of a base model or more performance model. You're not gonna get the best range. You're gonna get like 260 miles, 300 miles, which is still good, but there are not many hydrogen stations and the whole point of this game is to keep driving. So you will have to spend time at a hydrogen station, especially since you need to, there's only one in the map, you need to locate one. And it's the only one is at next stop. <coughs> the other con is the brakes are not too well. I mean, you can live with the brakes, but it's not the best of quality. The brakes, I wouldn't prefer them. If you're okay with brakes, which are a little touchy, and they don't they don't really slow you down too well then you're okay but the brakes aren't too bad but it's something western can work on and i'll still list it as a con another con is well this is mostly of an image con you're not gonna get such a good image owning one of these mostly because um they don't have a good reputation as an image since they're mostly uh, called ugly and stuff, but if you are, don't really care about that, then I guess it's okay. Pros on this car. The high drive trim gets a very, very good economy. Um, the mileage is very, very well. Since um, gas um, costs a lot of money in Greenville now, this is completely free to charge one of these. And yeah and it's cool having a hydrogen car and the thing with this one the design is nice it looks cool um the turn signals they're very it's very it's very creative it's a good fictionalized car it has bright lighting which will really help you on dark roads of greenville it has high beams um it has good fog lights so it really the lighting's good everything's well so, would I recommend this car to someone? Sure, I recommend you if you, you want to get a nice zero emission vehicle. This is a very good choice. <coughs> yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. And this is going to be it for Pizza Squirrel's Western Motors review. Thank you for watching the video, and see you again later. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching.